I'm Vanessa Canvey and I'm here in Pokwasi at Windy Hills and I'm here to meet Kofi Anku. He's selling two bedroom units here for $45,000. Everybody has been asking for affordable homes so here I am bringing them to you and not only am I bringing you these affordable homes but the beautiful view that we have from these is just amazing and as you can see the hill just behind us here and we're just surrounded by nature. We're going to have a little bit of a behind the scenes of what it takes to build these homes and also have a look inside the homes because Kofi has built 12 of these $45,000 homes. So let's have a look around. Hi Kofi, thanks so much for meeting with me again today. Welcome. Thanks so where are we just now? So this is a, a town called Pokwasi. Okay. So we've got our moderately priced uh, community. Yeah. 12 units. We call it Pokwasi Heights. Very nice. Can we have a look around? Sure, of course. How much are the properties here? So this is our two bedroom unit. Mm -hmm. uh, and it sells for 45,000 USD. Okay. And how many is there? We've got 12 units on this first phase. Yeah. So the idea is to build a few hundred. Oh, wow. Yeah. In the same area? Mostly in the same area. So like next door and then? Yeah. yeah. Oh, didn't know come that. On, come on in. Oh, it's really, really nice. Thank you. I like it. And I like the furnishings as well that you've got in here. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Nice, it's, like... it's actually, it's a bit cooler inside. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason why it feels that way is the whole house is insulated. Okay. So the walls are insulated with styrofoam. Yeah. And the ceiling is also insulated. So typically in houses in Ghana, you've got the steel roof and it just radiates heat into the building. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with the concrete blocks, that they take in a lot of heat during the day and then radiate heat at night. Oh, right. Okay. So we have decided to put that insulation in to just drop the temperature a bit. So what's on either side of the... So you've got styrofoam. concrete on both sides of the wall. Yeah. And then you've got a styrofoam insulation bit in the middle. In the middle. That's a good idea. It is much cooler outside. It's absolutely roasting. <laughs> like so much hotter than I've felt in a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's nice. It's nice to be cooler inside. Sure. So is this the kitchen through here? Sure. Yeah. We've got a, a little kitchen store in Very here. Nice. I like the way that you've actually like designed the kitchen unit as well. It seems like the right amount of space to, you know, cook and everything like that. Yeah, we, we, we put a lot of thought into designing this house because you know, if you're trying to hit the price points we're, we're aiming at, mm -hmm. you've got to squeeze all the pennies out of the process. Yeah. So we, we make all the kitchens uh, in-house. Oh. Um, the back patio, the, you know, the tile work we do all, all in-house. Our exterior walls, we've uh, created some molds. Oh, that's so great. So you yeah. do that just across there? Yeah. So yeah. is that land yours as well, is this one? It is, yeah. yeah. We've oh. got about 200 acres. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So have you, is, your is it your family land? Yeah. Yeah. How long has your family had the land? For about 20 years. So was it your dad that came around and chose all the land? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty yeah. good idea. Yeah, he was sitting in his <laughs> office in Cleveland and started buying a lot of land in Accra in the mid 90s. Oh, I mean, that's so smart. Like he's looking a, back, especially for the family, you know, it's such a, a great investment. Complete visionary. And we didn't get it as kids. We oh were just right. confounded because we came out here and there's, there's no power, there's no roads. Yeah. But uh, 20 years later, it's, uh, it's pretty it's, good. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're connecting all the dots. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah so but you've got this backyard, which is pretty spacious. Mm -hmm. um, and there's also room to extend. All the two bedroom units are expandable. Okay. So we've built about four three bedrooms. So yeah. you can see how the house grows. So would it come out this way? Yeah, right from the powder room. All oh, right. So I can okay. actually show you one of the oh, three yeah, beds that so would you be can nice. see how it grows. But it's also nice to have this outside space as well. You it can is. like entertain some people yeah. or just play out with your kids. Absolutely. It's so quiet here. It's lovely. Yeah. yeah. You just hear all the nature around. Yeah, the, there are some lovely birds that just kind of hang out in this forest and you hear them in the mornings. Wow. So how long have you been on this project? This is uh, about six months. Okay. Yeah. So you broke ground six months ago. Yeah. It's yeah. come up really fast. We've got an amazing team. 
Have, do they work for you like full time? Well, what we do is um, when you're when you're trying to reduce the cost, you have to look at your materials, mm -hmm. your contracting, your design and engineering. So we've brought all of that under one umbrella, and we do everything in house. Okay. So instead of paying a margin for your materials and paying a margin for your design work and paying a margin for your contracting, mm -hmm. and then also trying to make some money as a developer, we've decided to hey, let's bring in our um, our manufacturers. Um, our engineering squad, our contractors, all in with skin in the game as developers. Oh, I see. So do they get a percentage then? Well, they, they bring in both their design work and cash, and we bring in the land and cash, and then have formed a development team. Oh, right. Just poised at this whole affordable, you know I mean? In Ghana, when you say affordable housing, it's like, well, affordable to whom? Mm -hmm. $45,000 is still a lot of money. Yeah. But it's, um, it's better than you know the hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand dollar houses that are of oftentimes are not great quality. Mm -hmm. So That's our our mission is to produce a high quality home at at a, at a moderate price, um, both for Ghanaians who live here as well as folks in the diaspora who are trying to find a way to get back mm -hmm. to Ghana. So who is your your target market in terms of Ghanaians that live here? I guess it's like middle middle income. Sort sure, of. sure, young families that are starting out. Mm -hmm. um, there's been quite a bit of interest, even though we haven't made a lot of noise in terms of marketing. Yeah. Uh, what we've actually tried to do is just create the whole development. You're still seeing a bit of a behind the scenes look, mm -hmm. but for the most part, we've been very quiet, just working um, so that we could really present when it's a finished. Yeah, finished product. So it's yeah. not a question of, well, what's this going to be like? It's like, yeah. come and see the house. Yeah. If you like it, buy it. Uh -huh. If it's not for you, that's fine too. Yeah, yeah. nice. So yeah. should we look around the rest sure, of the house? Yeah. So this powder room mm -hmm. uh, can be converted into a corridor to the third master bedroom. Oh, right. It is quite wide, actually, yeah. so that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So you can just knock out this bit and mm -hmm. continue the house. And then how much do you charge for that extra bit? Well, I mean, it depends. The, the three bedroom units are 59,000. All right, okay. Yeah. So it would just be the same, basically. Sure. Yeah, All right, yeah, nice. Yeah. So we've got... One of the bedrooms here. Very nice. I like the bed. Did you guys make these beds as well? Of course. Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, even the trees, we grow the trees in a, in, uh, in a brie. Oh, right. And just transport. We've had them there for about five years. We just plucked them out of the ground and brought them down. That's so smart. Yeah, yeah. It is like sustainable in that sense of like, you know, you're making everything yourself. Yeah. So it's can sustainably yeah. go forward. Absolutely. So these houses are actually come with a solar package. Oh, okay. So included in the price yeah. is solar. Yeah. And is it solar for everything? Um, it's a solar backup system. So if you've got a situation with, you know, Light off, do so you this guy you can keep your lights on. Oh I see. So and what about for the hot water? Is that uh, well the hot water requires a lot of power. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll be looking at trying to install a passive um, hot water solution. Okay. So that's something that we're looking at. Oh, sounds good. But we've got a community borehole for the all twelve houses, so you don't have to have your own individual poly tank behind your house. Okay. We've got the borehole and then communal poly tanks. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. So that means, so are you connected to the Ghana water as well? We're not. Pokwasi is not oh, it's connected not, to Ghana it's water. Oh, it's not part yeah, of that. So we've got, yeah, we've got an independent water supply. But, you know, they're doing that interchange. Mm -hmm. It's literally, we saw that. Yeah, it's huge. Four kilometers from here. So even though it feels rural, you're actually pretty close to, to the action. Mm -hmm. So I suspect Ghana water will be here soon. Okay, but it's, it's also nice to have your own because Ghana water also goes off. True. You know, and then you have to have your backup water anyway. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, to yeah. be honest, this is a better yeah. situation to be yeah, in, yeah. to have constant water. So that, that's kind of the idea, is to try and do, at, at the community scale, the things that make sense for the community. So instead of having your own security arrangement, all 12 units have a centralized security. Um, we've got like a landscaping bit, just so that you don't have to think about these elements. And it's helpful for a lot of the folks that are interested. Some of them live abroad and maybe they want, you know, they want a house for their mother mm -hmm. um, or a retired parent. And they don't want to have to be dealing with calling to get a water tank delivered to the house mm -hmm. at the individual basis, you know, or organizing their own security or if a watchman doesn't show up. It's just, yeah, it's, it's a mission. You, know, you come to Ghana and there are so many things that you just would like to be able to deal with 
uh, in a different way. And how much is it per month for the people that buy here to cover security and the maintenance? Well, we're going to actually hand over that to the Homeowners Association at some point. Okay. But currently, it's, it's a 250 monthly charge. Dollars? No. Or CDs? CDs. Oh, yeah. that's so that, really that's good. sanitation, that's trash collection, that's security, that's the community water provision. Okay. It would be interesting to hear actually about sanitation and I guess, do you have like a septic tank or something like that? Or we how do, it actually, it's, it's just it's right out the window. Oh, yeah, yeah. So okay, each okay. unit has its own, oh, has its own biodigester. Yeah. Oh, so, sorry, I don't know anything about them. So does it just deal with it itself or does somebody need to like come and suck it out? No, it actually, it's, it, 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 it mimics the natural processes on the, on the fourth floor. So, so you've, got, you've got enzymes in there, you've got, you know, um, charcoal, um, and it, it breaks down and then it releases the effluent to, uh, to, the, to the storm. So there's nothing that, that happens, you have to, there's nothing you have to do about it basically. <laughs> Once it goes there, you can forget about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, exactly. that's perfect. Yeah. Nice. yeah. So this is the second, second bedroom. Very nice. Are they both the same size? Same size. Um, we've got LED lights. In, oh, yeah. in all the units. Perfect. PUP ceilings. And is there going to be a fan? Be three fans in the house. Ceiling yeah. fans. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, key. And what about AC or is that everybody's own decision? Um, we basically we'll have a menu of appliances that if you want us to organize, we can, we can actually get trade prices okay. on the fridge, on the cooker, on the ACs, but it's a la carte. If you want it, we put it in. If you want to wait, you can do that if you don't think it's necessary. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, I think with the ceiling fan, it would probably be a fine temperature, even yeah. for sleeping in and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. In the evenings, because of the insulation, it, it's quite cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you've gone for the traditional slats. Yeah. So on the front elevation, you've got the sliding glass. Mm -hmm. But um, throughout the rest of the house, we've put in louvers because they actually they take in more air. Okay. So typically, if, you're, if you've got sliding glass, 50% of the, the window is always closed. Mm -hmm. Whereas with louvers, you get the hole. Oh yeah, it's all, it can open up. Yeah. Yeah. And then the mosquito nets to make yeah. sure no mosquitoes come in. Exactly. <laughs> oh, and there is like a, you can get up there. Yeah, That's good. get into the services. Very good. And in terms of like topping up, in, um, topping up electricity, mm -hmm. is that each house has their own unit? Yes. To so top up. individual meters for each. All oh, right. Home. Okay. Yep. Yep. So were you were you deciding yourself on which color? Yeah, I'm a bit more partial to this one. What, what do you think? Yeah, no, that's nice. It's a nice natural color. Oh, mm -hmm. what am I doing? Yep. Um, but I like this. This design over here, honestly, when I walked up to the house, I thought this was part of the design and that it was making it quite trendy, but... I you know, it's funny you say that, because the idea at first was to come with like some really bold colours for this bit and make it a feature mm -hmm. wall. Okay. And to have each unit with its own colour. Yeah. So that you could easily say, hey, come to the, you know, oh, on the left, color? the red, yeah. or the oh, green, or whatever, idea. and just make it bright. But then I kind of pulled back and said, you know what, not everybody might be into that, so mm -hmm. we'll just tone it down. <laughs> Yeah, but, but I feel like you should leave that as the statement. You know, it's funny, my wife said the exact same thing. <laughs> oh, did she? So, well, yeah. It I might think be a good idea. We, we might need to, to <laughs> consider it. Listen, listen to the women. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you were saying that these outer fences were also made here. Yeah, we've got molds and uh, we, we prepare them on site. It saves a lot of time and money. Mm -hmm. And those are costs, uh, cost savings that we can pass on to the customers. Mm, that's really good. Yeah. I also love the fact that you've got a bit of green space at the front as well as the back because I feel like sometimes here, you know, in Ghana, just people just like disregard gardens and green spaces sure. and build like right, right to, to the, the wall. Yeah, right to the yeah. wall. So no, you need nice. a little bit of little space for the kids to play. Yeah. Particularly now when people are working from home, mm -hmm. you know, entertaining, more in the house as opposed to going out to restaurants. Uh, the kids may be homeschooling for extended periods of time. Yeah. It's important to have a bit of space. Very nice. So we've got a, a two, two, two car uh, driveway right in front of the house That's and good. all the units are semi-detached. You've got that shared wall mm -hmm. which helps us build up the densities but also gives you that sense of privacy. And so will there be any gates or anything or will it be open? There'll be a gate at the front. 
Okay. But not a gate in front of the unit. I'm, yeah. I'm just thinking if my kids were here, they would love to just be able to like cycle yeah. and stuff on the, you know, communal yeah, section. That would be fun. <laughs> so you, you caught us in the act of putting the road in. Um, okay. We're going to come in with a layer of stone and then, then pavers. Oh, very nice. Yeah. I really like paving, paving stones, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing that's actually not used that much here. I guess, is it more expensive than? You know, it, it's, it's expensive, but because we've been able to build up the densities, mm -hmm. we can, you know, spend a little bit of money on, on the common areas. What's at the back as well? Is that the amenities, like the water and? Yes. So you've got this utility area okay. where we're going to have all of the, uh, the overhead water tanks. Yeah. So that's going to be enough uh, elevation so that you don't even need a pump to get to the lower units. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can pump straight from the borehole into those overhead tanks. Oh, and then and it then just goes straight in. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing how much is done by hand in terms of Yep. You know, the construction, the digging and everything. Okay. So this, this is one of the three bedroom units. So do you have to spend a lot of time on site? Um, I don't. I've got a, a great construction team. Uh, they really know what they're doing. So oftentimes we like to make some d design decisions on the fly. Right, okay. So we'll come and just tweak a few things. So we'll just meet with, with the team. Uh, it's helpful also to get the client feedback mm -hmm. because oftentimes home buyers have different ideas so we try and incorporate that into the design so once you have the design team the construction you've got a sense of what the market wants yeah all in conversation it really helps to get the kind of product that makes sense for the market how was it difficult to find a good reliable construction team it's taken me 20 years to find oh. my partner and I, yeah, so I hold him like an egg. <laughs> you can actually see the banding around the window here. So we, ca we cast these off on site, screw them on, and then do the graffiato paint all over it. So what does that do? Does it prevent rain from getting inside or something? Or is it just a, like a cosmetic? Yeah, it's, it's more aesthetic. All oh, right. Yeah. It's nice. Oh, it kind of gives like, you know, a bit of depth yeah, to yeah. the outside of the house. Mm -hmm. So th it's exactly the same as the other house. Mm -hmm. But you can see that we've just opened up that powder room. It makes it feel bigger, I guess. I mean, it is bigger, but I guess that open space actually really like makes it quite airy. Mm -hmm. So how many of these is there? So you've got four of the three bits. Okay. And eight of the, the two, two bits. bits. Yeah. Oh, and there's like an ensuite. Yeah, so this, this is a master. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I really love the smell of freshly built houses. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the concrete. Yep, it's that um, and then the, uh, yeah, it might, you know. I don't know what it is, but it's just <laughs> a, new, a new car, a new house. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's special. So we have to bring you back once we've actually finished. Yeah, the whole place. I want to you can get a sense of where we're going. Nice. I like it. Thanks. Did you um are they that high? Oh, is it because the bed's meant to be there? Yeah. yeah. And then you have your end tables and you, can, you don't have to fumble around to charge your phone. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's good. When do you plan on making the next? Next, next phase, well, we're going to do them incrementally. So it'll be, you know, the first 12 and then you do the next 20 and then the next 50. And okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. But you know, the, uh, the prices of materials are shooting up. I heard that. Yeah. Concrete, apparently it's gone up like exponentially. Yeah. Like what sort of trajectory are they at? Well, I think bag of cement's almost 50 CDs at the moment. And what was it before? At one point it was like, what, 37? Not that long ago. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Why is it that it's going up like that? Well, it may be just an issue of the buying power. Oh, you know, right, okay. That, uh, you know, they printed a lot of dollars. They've printed trillions of dollars mm -hmm. and handed people that are sitting at home. So it could be inflation. Oh, right. Yeah. But it's not great for real estate business. 
Well, so they, yeah, it just it makes makes things more expensive. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I, I'm, we're going to do what we can to try and keep the prices as moderate as possible. But it's quite oh, possible yeah. that subsequent phases the prices may take up a little bit. Have to go up. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But when we're building more houses and we can uh, we can find ways to, to mitigate costs because you can buy in larger quantities. Okay. Yeah. It's good to see drains being <laughs> being dug here as well. <laughs> so that's another thing that obviously comes with the development drainage sure. as well. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, honestly, the strengths that must go into like the workers. Yeah, these guys are no <laughs> joke. So if somebody's interested in one of these properties, is there any sort of payment plan? So we have a six month payment plan and then we also have mortgage options. So we work with some of the mortgage banks in town. Okay. Uh, FNB, Republic Bank, Stanbic Bank. And when are these going to be finished? So these will actually, so the model units, this bit that we just saw will probably be done at the end of this week. Oh, wow, that's uh, so soon. Yeah, yeah, and the rest of the units in June. All right, so yeah. will the rows be done by this week or that will come later in on? In June, yeah. All right, yeah, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks so much for meeting again with me today. Thanks for And it was so nice to see your new properties and people are going to be so excited for like more affordable homes. It's key. Yeah. I mean, it's, we, there are a lot of people that have, that get excited about projects here, but mm -hmm. it's difficult to come up with $150,000 cash to buy a house. Yeah. I mean, it's like ridiculous. Like how many people can really do that in their yeah. lifetime? Yeah. You know, it's yeah. a lot of money. It is. Yep. So perfect. Excellent. Thanks, Thanks Vanessa.